One question is, how long do you give it before extracting a, a retained deciduous tooth? Is it a day? Is it a week? How long? Um, the short answer is it should be performed right away uh, because, uh, you know, that permanent tooth wants to find its correct place in the mouth. Uh, and often when we tell clients, well, let's keep an eye on it, you might not see them again for six months and uh, more serious problems could ensue. On the other hand, veterinary medicine is an art, and we have to use our uh, common sense. So uh, if you diagnose that on a Tuesday and the dog is scheduled, say, for uh, overall hysterectomy the next week, Wednesday, uh, I would certainly postpone the treatment until then so you can uh, perform both treatments under one anesthesia. Uh, if the tooth is uh, extremely loose because the root might be resorbing, uh, okay, I would give it a, a little bit more time. But if... If your clinical impression is that tooth is sort of solidly in there, the permanent tooth is there too, uh, I would recommend extraction of that tooth as soon as possible. Okay. And one other question uh, as we get the uh, results up. Um, do you only uh, do a crown amputation if all of the root is absorbed? Does that happen? Uh, there, there just was a uh, very good uh, publication on this subject in the Journal of Veterinary Dentistry that came out a few weeks ago. Uh, and it showed that it's very appropriate to perform crown amputations on what we call uh, type 2 resorption, and that's where you take a radiograph of the tooth with tooth resorption, and you see that the roots are resorbing. However, if it's a tooth resorption and there are uh, roots that are not resorbing, that's what we call type 1 um, resorption, in those cases, crown amputation is not appropriate. The root should be removed in, in its entirety. Uh, and as I said a little while ago, in cats with gingivostomatitis, crown amputation is off the table completely.